Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Jeremiah Van Rensselaer. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what other founder you'd like me to talk about. So Jeremiah Van Rensselaer is from the very wealthy and well-to-do Van Rensselaer family of Albany, New York, or more particularly, the manor of Rensselaerwick around Albany, New York. But as a member of this family, Jeremiah was a leader of the community when things started getting sticky with Great Britain. Now, throughout the American Revolutionary period leading up to the actual hostilities of the Revolutionary War, many towns and cities and communities around the colonies, they got together in their, their town councils and they filed resolutions. And the resolutions were basically usually just a list of their grievances and complaints against King and Parliament about what was going on. Now, Albany did this, but it's a little tricky, but they called it the Albany Constitution. Now, I just want to make clear, it was not a constitution. It was not actually a governing body. It was not laws or anything like that. It was really just resolutions or a set of grievances. However, the fallout from the Albany Constitution was the creation of the Albany Sons of Liberty. And Jeremiah Van Rensselaer became a very important member of the Albany Sons of Liberty, which was one of the most important uh, Sons of Liberties in the soon-to-be United States. Now... Uh, Van Rensselaer also joined the Committee of Safety, which was in charge of preparing the militia in case of a war. And he was also eventually became chairman of the Committee of Correspondence, which was in charge of communicating with the other colonies. So he was well ready when the war broke out. And when the war broke out, he was recruited by the Continental Army to serve as a paymaster for several years. And then eventually he left to join the new New York State Assembly. And he spent a good portion of the 1780s in the New York State Assembly before the Constitution, the actual United States Constitution was passed. And at that point, Jeremiah Van Rensselaer becomes an inaugural member of the United States House of Representatives representing New York. Now, about this time, the French, the, the French Revolution broke out and several Frenchmen were trying to escape with their heads still on their bodies. And many came to the United States. And one of these, was, one of these gentlemen was named Louis Osmond. Now, Louis Osmond had purchased some land in central New York while he was still in France, but he arrived to find out, well, the person who sold him this land was a trickster, and it was not to be had. And Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson got involved and actually asked our t today's founder, Jeremiah Van Rensselaer, to try and resolve this issue. Now, unfortunately, this was just about the time that Timothy Pickering signed a treaty with the Native Americans, the Iroquois, who lived in central New York, that essentially said we wouldn't be selling, settling on their land anymore. So despite his best efforts, uh, J Jeremiah Van Rensselaer was not able to remedy this issue. Though, as for Louis Osmond, he was okay. He ended up moving to Philadelphia and became a very successful merchant. Now, uh, Jeremiah Van Rensselaer did try and run for re-election for the U.S. House of Representatives, but unfortunately lost. That's okay, though, because longtime governor of New York, George Clinton, he, well, he tapped Jeremiah Van Rensselaer to run as his running mate as lieutenant governor of New York. And he won that position, and Jeremiah Van Rensselaer served as lieutenant governor of New York for uh, one term with George Clinton until George Clinton decided to be vice president of the United States uh, under Thomas Jefferson. Uh, at that point, Jeremiah Van Rensselaer retired to private life. Now, before this and during this time, Jeremiah Van Rensselaer started the Bank of Albany. And while that bank is now defunct, for the first century or so of the history of the United States, this was a major important bank in upstate New York that helped build upstate New York into a successful uh, place for people to live, especially because shortly thereafter, the Erie Canal was built through. And as the first super highway in the United States, the Erie Canal was extremely important. And to have a bank right where the Hudson met the canal uh, was a financial windfall for him and very important, as I said, to the country as a whole. So that's Jeremiah Van Rensselaer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please hit like and subscribe. Uh, new videos about the American Revolution five days a week. Uh, and I will be back with another founder for you tomorrow.